Hello, this is Jaime Garsuari. Welcome to Cream Safe Talking Tech. And I'll show you now my Formula E car. Very different to what we're used to drive, obviously, because you don't have an actual petrol car engine sound. And uh, you need to rely on, on feeling, on speed. And uh, this is actually not easy, but we have uh, some tools that can help us, like uh, the brake regen uh, map and obviously the, the brake regen paddle. So there are tools to recharge the battery while you drive under the braking. This, uh, this tool is a bit complicated to use, especially when you drive on different torque maps, but it's a great tool and very challenging tool for us to learn and to develop while we drive. Yeah, well, you have less downforce in the car because this is more kind of a drag efficiency car. It's well designed to go fast on the straights and um, you, you want the less resistance on the car. So there's not much downforce. You can help on the brakes, but uh, the tires are not that bad at the end. The speed are not incredible. So it's a good balance between and a good compromise between the brakes and the speed of the car. So it makes it quite funny to drive. The torque is immediate, like in electric car racing. The torque comes really, really high and really fast. So you need to deal with that especially when you drive on higher torque maps on qualifying mode. But yeah, it's good fun. Well, you have on one side, on the left side, the brake regen map. So basically, that's the, to regenerate the battery on the braking. Then on the middle, you have the, the regen paddle map, which basically it's a, an extra paddle that you regenerate extra energy. And then you have the, the throttle pedal, which is basically the torque or the motor uh, map, which you use for qualifying mode or race mode. Or, Definitely, it's a big difference through that. No noise is something part of the show. I think uh, it's not. It's not that we have to call it no noise. It's uh, a different noise, electric noise, and uh, this is something cool, yeah. Because when you reach a certain speed, you just hear the sound, the, the sound of the wind. So it's uh, you hear every single sound on the on the car every time you take a curve or when you go off, when you go over a bump. So it's yeah, challenging. Yeah. Racing is going to be tough because these drivers are quick and uh, we need to go over it, especially with the engineers, to maximize the potential of the car. But I'm really excited because uh, everyone has the same tool, not like in Formula 1, and uh, everyone has the same capabilities to, to win, so the best driver will win it. I think this is a baby just has been born and you need to give a bit of time, I think in one, two years' time. It can improve its show and I'm sure as drivers, because you can see it's huge driver level here and uh, teams, brands like Virgin, Audi or Renault coming into the, the sport and Formula E, it's just great for it and I'm sure it's going to be improving over the, the season and over the years, I'm sure. been robbed a couple of times actually. So we had this screen installed. For cheap alternative. They look identical, so you think you're getting an equivalent product and you're not. Most CrimSafe lookalikes can pop out because they're only held in with a piece of plastic. But CrimSafe screw clamp locks the mesh and spreads the impact. Solid and sturdy and definitely instills a lot of confidence in us. If you pay for what you get, CrimSafe is definitely the way to go. Better off paying the extra and getting the better product. Because if it's not CrimSafe, it's not CrimSafe.